click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the F block elements as well as we have also discussed about the inner transition series. And now in this topic we are going to talk about lanthanoids and its position in the periodic table. So what are lanthanoids? This is what we are going to talk about in this topic. So friends, talking about lanthanoids, that is the series involving the filling of 4F orbitals following the lanthanum is called as lanthanoid series. And the elements present in this series are known as lanthanoids. So based on that, let me give you a certain idea that's where the lanthanoids are being present. So friends, now I'm going to talk about lanthanoids. So lanthanoids are nothing but they are series after the, that is lanthanum. So here basically we can see that is it starts with cerium and it ends with lutetium. So therefore this all elements or this series of elements are basically known as lanthanoids because they are after the lanthanum. So in this case if we talk about lanthanum so we have got to know that is the lanthanum has an atomic number of that is the lanthanum has an atomic number of 57. So after that it's cerium which is having an atomic number of 58 and then it ends with that is lutetium which ends with an atomic number of 71. And after that, the hafnium is basically present in this position where it is belonging to the sixth period and the fourth group. So why does all these elements are placed in this position only? The reason behind that is as we understand that is in the periodic table, the chapter periodic table also we have got to know that is we arrange the elements in such a way that is the atomic size it goes on decreasing across the period. The atomic size will go on increasing if we are keeping it that is that is from up to down that is from top to bottom. So as the atomic size increases that is from top to bottom then we also observe that is the atomic size decreases that is across the period. So but in talking about lanthanoids so it has been found that is there is no that much change in the atomic size and all the atomic size that is I am going to talk about here is almost the same and that's the reason that not only because of the atomic size because of all the chemical properties which is very much similar to that of lanthanum so therefore this all have basically kept in this position only that is the position is sixth period and the third group so not only in terms of the atomic size but also in terms of the chemical reactivity as well as the valency so talking about the valency so since it is belonging that is the lanthanum is belonging to the third group so therefore we could say that is the the valency of this element would be three so it is applicable to every element that is basically present over here and talking about hafnium so obviously it will have a valency of four so that's the reason that because of various other things this are basically kept in this position only and talking about Suppose if all these elements have been kept that is from side by side so in that case the whole periodic table would have been disrupted and that's the reason that there are many reasons for which this all lanthanoids are basically kept in this position. So therefore this is the position of lanthanoids that is what I have discussed about here and that is nothing but the sixth period and the third group and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood the lanthanoids and as well as you have also understood the position of the lanthanoids in the periodic table. And I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.